Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. With the exception of last week I was sick. If you have a suggestion of plugin you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section for you new people. And if you're new people, welcome friend. Hope you enjoy. I will give you a shout out when I get around to that plugin. Like this is Super Hub, as requested by AJ, Ahmed, Jojo, Lego Show TV, The Gaming Spot, Lars Vico, Vico, I don't know, uh, Sync Nation HD, KOD, COD, and more. And then Mick Y, Mickey, Mick Mickey. And it was made by uh, Kubazek. I'm butchering that, but this is a fantastic hub plugin it's actually pretty simple to use it just does a lot of different things so you're just kind of kind of work your way around it couple of side notes of it right off the bat it does not work in offline mode so for you people running crack servers i feel bad for you no i really don't stop stealing the game buy it it will work with bungee cord though even though those servers are running offline the main bungee cord is running online and the main reason it doesn't work offline because it doesn't uh work with the u or it works specifically off of UUIDs and when you're running in offline mode it doesn't grab those. Also the message portion of this plugin will not work unless you're running exactly 1.8.1. If you're not running 1.8.1 please do not use ping API as it will cause the rest of this plugin not to work and if you're running spigot be sure to download the, the versions that the author has available on their website think it's over here I always get it mixed up anyway otherwise it won't work for you so if you're ever not getting a folder to show up make sure you don't have ping API or if you do have ping API make sure you're on 1.8.1 and make sure you're, uh, you're you're using the spigot download if you're running spigot otherwise use the normal bucket download that's the problems I ran into all right, let's get into what this plugin gives you. You get a whole lot of options here, which makes a lot of really fun sounds when you're switching between them. You can configure all of that in the, the config menus. There's a lot you can do in the game, so we're going to hit those first. Talk a little bit about permissions, jump over the config files, go through it. It's a lot to get through. Let's see how fast we can do it. So you have your super popper. If, if you want, you could shoot other people. It pops them. They disappear. In, and then they come back later after a few minutes. But it's kind of cool. I think you've seen it on, I can't remember the name of the server series, or servers I saw it on, but it's been around. You have Super Kicker, so you can punt people. And I think it only works with admins, against admins or whatever. So it's kind of like Hypixel. And then you have your Super Brawler, so you can do some PvP in a non-PvP world or PvP hub. So other people who have that open, they can then fight as well. You got your server info, which is all configured in the um, menu there. Hit done. And then the big hub menu over here is going to be open that. We can look at some of the hub gadgets. So we can do a paintball gun. And it will let us paint different things, random colors. And then they go away or you can, um, yeah, they go away after a few minutes. So we'll hop back in here. We're going to remove all things. We're going to, what else we got? We have the item gun so we can fire mobs. We have um, fire different kinds of items. Uh, we have a propulsion engine, jump drive, warp core. All that stuff is a lot of fun stuff. I'll let you guys play with that stuff. You can enable and disable that based upon permission nodes by looking those up in your config files and then adding them to your users or the groups or whatever it is. So hub trails, pretty self-explanatory. You've seen that before. Hub particles, once again, same deal. It's like particles that are revolving around you. You can have pets in here, which are pretty uh, self-explanatory. We can have a pet horse and uh, weren't riding them around. I don't think you can, you have to actually right click on it and then select if you want to ride extra features. Um, toggle age, uh, teleport them, all that stuff. Uh, you can remove them in there. Once again, we're gonna go hub disguise. It's pretty self-explanatory, make you a different 
looking thing so we're gonna hop into the hub specials here and then we have the player stacker that's where you can stack people I think you see that on mindplex you have to enable or disable that for yourself so people can stack you you hide player pretty self-explanatory it'll hide other players around you navigation menu this will be any of the the warps this will automatically get filled in when we put in some of the other the warps that we're going to set up here in a moment but you can also custom fill this in in the configuration we'll talk about that in a moment and then server staff teleporter other kinds of stuff in here let's talk a little bit about permissions before we get into it um and there'll be a screenshot otherwise this is all in permissions.yml you can have shub.user shub.vip shub.fun those are kind of groups that will give your users a lot access to a lot of stuff probably the basic one you want them to give is shub or shub shub dot user and then all of the items have permission nodes associated with them that being the hub items that YML which I'll show you guys in a moment when we get to it let's talk about commands and warp points and all that stuff that you can do in the game before we jump over the configuration file the first thing you want to do is set the hub so we're going to do s h set hub this is going to set the main hub so when players do slash hub they'll teleport them to that you have a few other custom hub, uh, warps that you can set up as well in here so you can do sh set uh, games let's say so people can just do set, set games I'll show you guys where you can make custom ones in your config file you can modify that and make your own like sh dot or you know faction slash factions will bring them to wherever and it does do cross server joins all that stuff uh, that's all done in the configuration which is really cool so sh um, so we probably want the lobby to, to come over here so we're going to do sh set lobby and then uh, that's all set now you want to set where you want them to join to when they join so we're going to do join hub so that will send them to the main hub. You can also do sh join world. That's going to send them to the world spawn when they join. Or you can do sh dot join or join uh, normal, and then that will bypass all super hub settings for where they join to. Another really fun one is sh void set. So basically, this means that. Um, they will then spawn here if they fall into the void. So now the next we want to talk about is all the toggleable, toggleables, toggleables, and stuff that you can set up in your hub, which is really cool. You do a, so. We want to do super hub toggles. It's all the stuff you can change, which is really good. You don't need to use multiverse or anything like that in here. You can set the day to be always day or night. However. It still kind of shows like this, it keeps resetting the, the sun. So what I like to do is I like to use the built-in Minecraft one. It was just game rule, do daylight cycle. Keep in mind the DNC has to be capitalized and then set that to false. So now the, the sun doesn't move at all. You don't get any shadows moving. You can set it to be night and it won't do any daylight cycle, which is really cool. But all the other stuff in here is really awesome. So we can do mobs. We're going to disable them. SH animals. We're going to disable those. The SH drop, which drops are disabled now. So SH clear inventory um, when they join the hub it's going to clear the inventory and make you know in case they pick something else up or whatever so make sure that their inventory is always the base menu items there in here you can change like jump pad forces all that stuff unfortunately i don't know how to set up the jump pads and i couldn't find anything like that so i'll probably annotate that over here once i do figure that out so you guys know how to do that going forward but you can change the force of it in here if you do sh jump pads and then put in a number so right now um, all right so one thing that's interesting about this plugin is if you actually put in the wrong command it actually just tells you that you don't have permission for that command which is a little bit misleading so the command is sh jump pad singular and we can enable those and if we want to change the number we can set it to three or five i don't sure what kind of force number that is anyway that's pretty much it for the in game let's hop over the configuration and check it out Okay, so here we are in the server. So we're going to hop into the plugins, and you can see we got Superhub. There's a whole lot of different configuration files here, different things you can set. Your language is like your your base 
messages you can change all of the custom messages so you can make change hub to be whatever the name of your server is you can change all of the other messages it's i love it when authors do this because it really makes it so you can modify this server to be completely customized to what you need it to be set up for this is also the place where you set up your broadcaster and you can enable and disable in the different worlds so if you want it to only work in your hub world and then you can set up uh, other custom messages in here as you'd like I couldn't really find that there was any in-game commands to do that maybe there is and I just didn't see that it wasn't really great documentation on the website there's a lot of great documentation in the configuration files though which is really cool here's the the message of the day now this one actually works it doesn't the ping a the ping API doesn't work so um, that's kind of going from there pretty much all the custom messages you can change to the title welcome message and then you got your placeholder or variable in there it looks like there's a few other variables you can use in here so let's keep talking about it let's just start at the top and start in chat so this is where you can set up all the chat aspects of it this basically makes kind of a chat manager so if you're using deluxe tags or anything like that you want to put those in here uh, the prefixes all that stuff in here but you can cut you can set up custom ones you can change players prefixes to different in different worlds and different hubs all that stuff which is really neat now let's hit in the big meat and potatoes configuration file so scrolling through here you could change the the uh, weather refresh rate or weather or time update so when you set your weather to be clear or your you, to always be daylight with the super hub, hub settings this is how often it will reset so i think that's 10 seconds 200 ticks this is where you can disable different modules completely maybe you don't want to use them at all so of the broadcaster join teleporting all that stuff pretty self-explanatory or any other super hub commands you want them to override other commands like fly maybe you use a lot this is where you can set all your custom sound commands your effects player join effects that are going to happen when they when they go off set custom inventory on join you can set all that stuff up you can set lobby just redirects the main hub spawn redirects the main hub hub sends to bungee server this is where you set it to uh true and then the bungee server that it sends to so you can run this on all you can run super hub on all of your servers you can disable just about everything that you want not have a custom inventory and make sure that it's only they can only use the commands slash hub or or lobby or whatever and then it you can that slash hub sends to this uh, server instead of uh, spawn point or something like that, which is really cool. Um, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Inventory is cleared. That all can be set in the game as well as we kind of hit on there. In a moment, you can ignore in certain worlds. You can. Uh, this is all the worlds that super hub found and enables it on. You can change all that stuff, imported worlds, and this is where you can set stuff per world which is really cool it loads this up for every world that it finds so if you add a world reload super hub and it'll add it in here which is really cool so this is the hub items on here pretty self-explanatory like i said I'm not really going to touch on a lot of this stuff because the documentation in the configuration files is fantastic so scrolling through here this is where you can set the menu um, which inventory slot it's on the lore the name you know the color coding on there and all that stuff um, and then here's your custom permission node you can actually change that to be whatever you want which is super cool um, paint gun all that stuff the blocks to exclude painting specials blah 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 we're gonna keep scrolling through this stuff now here's the navigation menu that you saw and the size can be 9 18 27 36 45 54 if it if you put it any other size the super hub will change that and can and modify it for you so this is where you can set all the other things on there which if you don't have these set as you saw they won't show up you can set up custom ones that you want in here the staff help cust all that stuff custom items voter all that stuff which is really cool here's your popper kicker brawler inventory book um that shows what one that puts on and i think 
I don't recall if the book is in here. Here's the info book. That's where you change what it says. So if you have, want to have multiple pages on here, you can do that as well. So locations, this is where those are set, which you can add more of these to make or change the name of these for custom ones, which is really cool. And you can do slash uh, sh list to list all of the, the warps in the game. Now here's your permissions like we were talking about at the beginning. This is where you see all of these. You can change these around all you want. You can make custom ones. There's your admin ones. Uh, here's all of those. Uh, bypass exclusions, toggling. Those are the VIP, the fun ones, that kind of stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Here's all your pets that you can, you can set up. Allow, cluster. Uh, this is per world. You can set allow them on. And that's pretty much all you can set up with the pets. They're pretty much up and going. Restrictions, this is where you can restrict different things. Um, I'm not really going to hit on that. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then the scoreboard, which is that thing you saw on the right-hand side. Love that it includes a scoreboard because a lot of people really like using that on their hubs. And each line, all that stuff... You can kind of play with it, figure it out. Some of the names are in here. So it doesn't look like you can do a whole lot of configuration of the scoreboard. I thought you could more off the bat. Um, but it looks like he's developing it better. Um, and this is not very clear on how to set it up. Um, so your best bet, sorry guys, kind of play with it a little bit. Make some changes, reload, see how it looks, um, and modify what you want. Um, looks like it's pretty much set what it, what it's set at. You could change like the coloring, all that stuff. Um, I'll put an annotation if any more information comes up for the scoreboard area. Anyway, hopefully that was a little helpful. Let's hop back over to the server and wrap this all up. Okay, here we are back on the server. Now let's take a look at those. Those have already filled in now that we fill. We now that we. Uh, kind of added those those automatically filled in which is really cool so hopefully that was helpful for you guys to get you guys started on this awesome plugin called super hub it looks like the author is actively updating it um which is really cool if you have any questions you're probably better off to post on the author's page rather than me because i don't really use this plugin i've learned enough to kind of get you guys started so hopefully that that helps you out this is cos from mcfriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game God bless. <clears throat> mm. Ah, gotta clear that phlegm sickness out. <laughs>